We're not compatible. No. That's what we're about to find out today. <laughs> we'll see what my horoscope says. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my Just name is April. Right. <laughs> my name is April, and welcome to the Stay at Home Profit family. Today we're doing a reaction video with my lovely husband, and um, we are going to learn about his Enneagram today. And babe, what is an Enneagram? I have no idea. You have no idea? Horoscope. <laughs> he swears he's going to learn his horoscope, um, but it's not. Um, I'm an Enneagram 3. I am putting it out there that I believe that you're an Enneagram 8. And we're going to go into taking the Enneagram test, kind of like what his reaction to taking the test is like. Then we're going to be going over into the results and um, yeah, just seeing your reactions. Um, if you guys don't know, my husband and I are kind of very different. I'm very much into um, understanding your human design, understanding your personality, and understanding the roots of who you are as a person. And my husband is definitely more of, I where, guess, where are you going with this? nature versus nurture, or what? You don't think I'm interested in human design? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Are you? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means. Like, okay, how do you feel about me explaining the reasons why I act the way I do um, because of, like, my personality. Okay. I can buy it. You can buy that? Okay. Yeah. So, have you ever taken a personality test before? Yes. Okay. And what did you learn from that? Not a whole lot. So. Okay. <laughs> Besides Facebook, um, do you remember when we went to our marriage retreat and we learned about our love language? Yes. That's kind of like what we're learning with the Enneagram. It's just how we understand things, how our personality, um, and kind of like our deeper roots, okay. um, affect our daily decisions and the way we, the way we react to things. Okay. So that's kind of what we're going into. If you guys don't know, um, probably the only thing that we've taken together is the five different love languages. Mine mm -hmm. is, um, I, my love language is words of affirmation and gifts. And yours is, do you remember? Yeah, acts of service. Exactly. And just real quick before we get into this, how did that make you feel? Like, do you think, like, that was on point? It's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. Yeah. All right, so do you think what we're going to learn today is going to be pretty accurate? I don't know, because that's pretty straightforward. Like, I mean, the concept of the five love languages was not something I ever thought about before, but... It made sense because I liked it when you did small things around the house and helped out with everything, right? And so what makes sense to me is that you would like the same thing. So that's how I returned or reciprocated like my affection for you and right. you didn't give two craps about it half the time. So <laughs> it really made sense that I was like, okay, I'm trying to show you how I love you by um, what, what I want in return as opposed to you know a completely different love language or whatever so that made sense though the concept never thought about once i did made complete sense like all right but that's with one thing such as love i have no idea what this is going to talk about like she kind of said how you understand things and i mean it kind of just sounds like extremely broad and kind of like i said that was very pointed that was talking about love this is talking about what everything else i'm not your entirely sure kind of so, like your personality and things so all right so we're gonna jump into taking the test uh, okay and i'm gonna let you get started with that okay if you don't know what the enneagram is it is a system of figuring out your personality type and how you react and respond to things and it really goes deep into how do you react and respond to your own emotions um something that i loved about the enneagram and what i felt really connected to is that it really made me realize how I responded to um, outside situations um, and how my personality really reflected that into my everyday decisions and even in the decisions of my business and how I reacted to other people's businesses and my clients and things like that. So I'm really excited for you to go into what your Enneagram is and how it reacts to your career and then of course in our business that we do together. Okay, I wasn't listening to That's any of that. It's fine. Just okay. <laughs> not do your thing. 
Got it, April. You're annoying me. All right. Got it. No, that makes sense. I mean, it all makes sense. Like, it's just questions. So I've done things like this before. I just didn't pay much, much attention to the answer because it was kind of like, oh, you are a leadership style. Or like, oh, I've done like how you learn. You know, you're a visual learner, you're a hands-on learner, or auditory learner, and things like that. Have you ever taken those tests and, like, apply it or actually, like, really bring, like, awareness to what you do, like, in your job and things like that? Not really, no. Okay. Ever since I started, like, realizing my personality type, it really affects, like, the way I do things now. And I'm more aware of how I treat people and how I deal with certain situations. So something that I really am more aware of and it makes me more aware of how I react to things, especially in my business. That makes sense. The reason why I got this idea of doing the Enneagram is I actually teach all of my students um, in the beginning of my virtual assisting course is to really understand your personality type and to understand like how are you going to react to certain people? How do you figure out the kind of people you want to work with and how you're going to strive in doing certain tasks? Um, I'm really big on having a career that you can mold into your own lifestyle, but you really need to understand what kind of lifestyle do you want to live? What kind of personality do you have? Does it fit the lifestyle goals? Um, I always, you know, I always thought like, oh, flying first class and traveling around the world um, is like the best ideal lifestyle, but it doesn't match my personality. Um, I like spending time with family. I really like spending time with um, my kids and doing things together. Um, And I would rather focus on things that we could do together than doing like going a shopping spree or something like that. So um, understanding your personality is just so important. And the benefits of understanding your Enneagram is not only are you going to understand how you react to certain situations and react to certain type of people, but then you can really understand your clientele as well. What are their weaknesses? What are their strengths? What are your weaknesses and what are your strengths? And you know the saying, how the saying goes, um, you're only as strong as your weakest link. Same thing goes to your personality. Um, You're only as strong as your weaknesses. So if your weakness is like communication, if you could really build on that, then, and have that as your superpower, then you can go as far as you want in your career and in your life, if that makes sense. Were you talking to me? No. I can't do two things at once. You can't multitask. Yeah, is that part of the Enneagram? (laughs) Is there compatibilities with this? Is it like the horoscope thing where it's like Aries and Cancer? I don't actually know if that's like legit the enemies, but they like, you know, if they ever date, then like, or maybe no, happen, no, whatever. but we're gonna go Why into it. We're so long to figure out what I was talking about. It is midnight, so I'm on page four, so I'm not doing so hot. I uh, might definitely and keep getting distracted, but you know, here we are doing an enneagram at midnight. It's a school night, <laughs> aka I work tomorrow. If you guys know your enneagram, <laughs> drop it in the comments below. Let me know what you are, and if you have a partner or um, a roommate and you think that you can guess what their Enneagram is, drop it below too because like I said, I'm for sure like he's an eight. I have like strong feelings about this. So we'll see if I'm right. Good luck. Do you think you'd have a different answer, like um, a different result um, from when you were a kid than you are now? Absolutely. Don't you? I do. You have a completely different, like you grew up with your parents or you grew up with your guardian the entire first 15, 18, 20 years of your life. You know, you're so impacted by then. Then you get out and you realize there's more to everything. And other people's method of doing stuff, methods of doing stuff imparted on you. And so I think that would affect extremely something like this. But also on the flip side of that, if you take a personality test, you know what personality type you are. And you go about your entire life thinking, I am this personality type, so all your decisions are based off of that personality type, then would you ever actually change? Is there room for change? Would you go against what your personality type is? Mm -hmm. You know what self-revelation is? Mm -hmm. Cool. (laughs) Did you want me to explain? Uh, No, I'm just asking you just this little pop quiz for you. (laughs) 
Yes. You have an experience about me. Yeah, probably. Stop. I can see you. I don't mean to be giving you the answers. But maybe you don't know me as well as you think. Sometimes. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get new results tonight. Okay. Alright. So we're on the last page. Page 14. Great results. Alright, let's, let's see if April's right. No, I wanna see. Writing it. No, 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 no. You guys can see it first. Is she right? We don't even know. We have no idea. You're, you're the first to know. You saw it here first. Oh! Oh! What? Ah! No. Oh, three. wow! So we're the same. So eight is not even on the list. I'm actually really, really surprised by that. Yeah, they, like, I knew he was a three. this whole video now. This is embarrassing. No, <laughs> so it's so funny because I thought you were going to be like an eight wing three because that's probably what okay i'll go into the wings that's the w okay but i thought you'd be a wing three because that's something that we have a lot in common with is that we're both achievers we both like to get things done we both have really big goals um we were alike in a lot of ways mm -hmm. but the fact that you got the exact same result as i did because i'm a three w2 is quite shocking to me because I feel like we're very, very different. It's also really interesting that there's literally no eight anywhere on this list. So I don't know if it was just, oh, well, there's wing eight. Yeah. And another wing eight. But it's just not even here, period. So does that mean I was that far off of an eight? I'm guessing so. Or is this test broken and they just don't have eights today? <laughs> they're, just, they're out of eights today. <laughs> Try again later. Taking, anyway, what, what's a wing? So you're a three and a wing two. So three is like your more dominant Enneagram. Well, okay. two, where you could be mistaken as a two as well, because you have a lot of the same things as a two. So they're very like similar. Like for me, it makes complete sense because I'm a mom mm -hmm. and I've always been very motherly. I've always been like, even as a teenager, I was known as like the mom of the group. I took care of my entire neighborhood kids. So it makes a lot of sense for me to be a two. Right. Um, and I could definitely see how that could be like, I could be mistaken by a two a lot, but three, I'm very more dominant. So that's what the wing is for. But So I am a type three. It's the achiever. So the achiever is focused on the presentation of success to attain validation. I don't know. The, the test asks some pretty, pretty crazy questions that you don't really think about or you don't, maybe you know about it, but don't really want to think about or want to admit. And I was honest like April asked me to do, and so that's why we're here. Honestly, that makes sense. Deep down somewhere, <laughs> behind a lot of fake walls, and we you know what, what, whatever. So what I'm going to do is that I follow an amazing account for Enneagrams. It's coffee, or it's Enneagram and coffee. I'm gonna um, say some things, and just let me know does it relate to you? Like, are you, okay. do you feel like, oh my God, I'm triggered right now because they're calling me out. Like this right. is calling me out. Okay. So, so first one is, um, let's talk about this one, your boss. Here, so okay. three, you have to start your morning the way you want your day to go. Have you read the four hour work week? Yeah, I could see that. Like I've always been a big thing on, you should make your bed first thing in the morning because you know, the small wins or Making your bed's the first task that you can task yourself with and complete, and then it kind of gets the ball rolling for the rest of the day, and you can, you know, feel good that you got something done. Wait, what, what's eight, though? I don't care if you think there's an easier way. Just do it the way I told you to do it. That's the way I like it. I really like that, though. That's I told you how yeah, much I think. Um, that, is, that relates to my work. Let's do this one. I need someone who supports my dreams. That's so accurate for me. I need that validation. Yes. I need to s surround myself with people who are oh my always God. supporting I'm an eight. me. I'm 100% an 8. Okay, first of all, you heard it here. We're going to retake this test later no, on. No, it's, it's support some of my dreams, right? That's not as important to me as someone that isn't easily offended. Because that makes 100% sense because we will constantly get in little bickering matches that all started on me saying something that she got 
a little offended by, which is a military <laughs> brat, military spouse. You think that she'd be immune to it, but, you know, there's there's days. 50-50 days. shot. I usually roll the dice, see what happens. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so as you can tell, like, three is definitely me. I need that validation. I need to surround myself with that positivity, or I overanalyze things, and, and I wing freak two. out. Give lots of positive feedback. Yes, so that makes words sense. Words of affirmation, words of affirmation. Yes, and 100%. then right here. Uh, definitely isn't easily offended. I feel like that's you. All right, let's 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 do another one. One more. Ooh. Okay, we're going to do two more. One is at a restaurant. Let's put ourselves in a situation here. At a restaurant for three, picking up the tab. That's definitely me. If you ask my husband, I always try to pay for everyone all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. And then eight is the one we asked to tell the waiter they forgot the appetizer. Eh, no, no. I disagree with that. Yeah. Because I would rather not talk to the waiter at all. Though, at a restaurant, I probably wouldn't have a problem with it. Maybe this will be our last one. Okay, so for type three, I don't know what Enneagram type three needs to hear this, but make sure you're building a life that feels good to live. Don't treat your days like a rung on a ladder to future happiness, which... Ooh, that sounds pretty good. I... I kind of like that. I don't know. Yeah. I kind of resonate with it. I like the idea of it, like that... It's just a really cool quote, honestly. <laughs> like, if you just cut out the Enneagram Type 3, and I don't know who needs to hear this, but just say, make sure you're building a life that feels good to live and don't treat each day as a rung on the ladder to future happiness. Like, just saying you're living in the moment, enjoy every single step. Don't make each step just, you know, another stepping But do you feel like stone. you forget about that? Like, you forget about, like, why you're doing it to live a better life? Or Oh, yeah, I'll definitely get caught up in, like, Making each day, like, oh, why am I working hard today? It's, oh, to make tomorrow better, to make tomorrow better. And tomorrow turns into next week, turns yeah. into next month, turns into next year. And, like, right now I'm just shooting for, like, you know, a really, really good 2050. And we'll see we'll see what happens. All right. And then for an eight, it's, I don't know what Enneagram type eight needs to hear this, but you should go home, get some rest, and get back at it tomorrow. I feel like that definitely Yeah, is. when it comes to work, I will definitely That's why we're, work you know, 1 a.m. too hard. So I feel like they're very similar. They they have their different, like, personalities, but they're still very similar in a sense. So I can definitely see that if you are you got mistaken as a 3 and things like that. I don't know. I think she's probably right. I probably should have been an 8. It's just surprising because it even said on the test results, it said... Uh, note that, that your lowest scores may be omitted, which the only score that omitted was a type 8. So I don't know what happened there. I think the test is bugged, to be completely honest. Probably not. I don't know. Maybe it was just the way I answered the questions and how I flip-flop between personal life and my at work at military job life, because I even operate my business or our business differently so but tell me this like do you resonate a little bit with a type three at all like do you do you kind of see yourself in situations yeah around that personality like like i said earlier like this makes sense to a point like this is kind of like the deep under rooted like things that i don't really think about very often have you enjoyed taking this test yeah it was long it was grueling there's a lot of questions i didn't want to answer I'm happy that but, I got to do it for you. Yay, I appreciate it. Overall, I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed, like, just seeing how you answer it, answer it, and I'm just really thankful that you put yourself out there for YouTube and the fam, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get your spouses on board, and if you don't know your own Enneagram, go take it. It's free online. I will post a link of the website that we use. So you can go and um, take the test and then post your results below and let me know. Did it work for you? Are you now a diehard fan? Or you're like, oh my god, April, I'm a three, two. It 100% speaks to you, like speaks to you. Or are you kind of like realizing that maybe when you took the test that you were only honed in on one part of you and not another part of you? Um, so let me know in the comments below. And if you like this kind of content and you want to see more videos with my husband, um, don't do that. But if you want to see more videos, period, <laughs> hit the like button, yes. smash the like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you don't miss any more videos like this. And these lights are kicking my and it's making me blink really hard and my contacts hurt. So we'll we're done. see you next time. We'll see you next time. Bye.